Hi traders, I wanted to talk to you guys about pivot points and how important it is to make sure that the pivot indicator you're using is accurate. So what we've got here on screen is the mataf.net published pivots and I've just taken the first symbol they've published which is Aussie CAD and I've taken those major pivot points and I've put them on an MT4 chart and this is what they look like so I've got Aussie CAD H1 and I've just literally transposed those pivot levels onto the chart for reference purposes so I now want to load up uh, the pivot indicator which we provide um, which is called FXA daily pivots version 3 JFX I'm just going to load that onto this chart and you can see the pivot system that we provide maps virtually perfectly over the published levels supplied by MATAF. If it doesn't, we can tune our pivot system accordingly by shifting the pivots using the Java interface that we supply and to match the MATAF levels as closely as possible. So I'm just changing the actual calculation basis for pivot system here and I'm pretty happy with that. The pivots will vary slightly from platform to platform uh, depending on, because obviously they're using data, i.e. chart data, which is going to be slightly individual to each platform depending on the time frames and obviously your, your shift relative to GMT, your serve time, etc, etc. So that's all well and good. Now in my uh, investigations, I came across this guy. It's called Point Zero Trading this chappy here, Arthur, uh, and he's got some indicators, some paid for, some free, and actually his pivot points indicators are free. So I went and loaded the pivot indicator onto my MT4 platform yesterday. And let's just see what happens when we look at his indicator. So it's called PZ Pivot Point. So let's drop this onto our chart. And this is, this is the uh, external parameters which you can control. So really just colors and uh, show mid levels, etc. Uh, time frame for pivot points, whatever, one day. What's he got here? So one day. Well, so let's play with that and see what happens. But let's try one day first of all. Wow. Okay. So this is interesting. So his S3 level is, let's have a look at that. That is 26 pips away from the published level by Mataf. Uh, he's got a mid S2 level, so that's, he's calling that mid S2, S3, which is M0 in reality. That is nearly 15 pips away from reality. Uh, let's have a look at R3. So R3 looks miles out as well. Yeah, R3 is, well, roughly 19, 19 pips or so away from reality. So essentially, you know, this is all over the place. Uh, it, it, it kind of, you know, if you're a newbie trader and you're downloading indicators for free, uh, be very, very careful about what you take for granted. Don't assume a vendor who is publishing indicators on the market is writing accurate code. So anyway, I went to uh, the website for this pivot point indicator, point zero trading. And in the comments section uh, yesterday, I actually made a comment and said, look, you know, uh, this is not accurate, um, which is also kind of back backed up by this guy here, Kel, Kel Kikavos or whatever. He put this on eight days ago, saying I'd like to inform you that your R3 pivot levels are, are not true. Thanks, I'll check it out tomorrow. Anyway, and obviously he hasn't, um, but uh, more importantly, he's also deleted my comment. So. Just be careful, folks. Um, I, I kind of wonder when you see these stellar reviews for these products. I wonder about the authenticity of some of this stuff, and I particularly wonder about if there, some of these tools are kind of like three hundred dollars or whatever. Um, if there are some basic mistakes being made in some of the really trivial programming, like pivot points, I do wonder about how together some of these other more complex programs may be. I'm not going to spend three hundred dollars checking them out for you so just you know be careful but anyway if uh, if you want some accurate pivots 
I would highly recommend not using the point zero system. So I get rid of that and get pivots which actually reflect reality, i.e. the published mataf.net pivot points you see here, which is exactly what we're displaying on our chart. So I probably will reduce um, the price of uh, the pivots packages. I think they're a bit expensive at the moment. Obviously, people are giving away free pivots indicators. So we are comparing a paid for product compared to a free product, i.e. the point zero product. But on the other hand, is there any point in having a free product which gives you such wild irregularities with your pivot data?